Welcome to part 6 of how I play. In this part, I'm gonna show you how I use monsoon to make one of the most important sounds in my live setup. It sounds like this. I'm not gonna go too deep about how the module works, because there's plenty of information online, but a few weeks ago somebody asked me about a high-pitched evolving pad sound he heard in one of my sets, and I realized it would be worth a How I Play video. So let's dive into it. The modules relevant to this voice are, of course, Monsoon, the Befaco Hex Mix system, which allows me to use Monsoon in a send and return setting, Pamela's new workout, just off camera here, which is my master clock, but also sends LFOs and envelopes to do modulation stuff. And there's, of course, off camera to the other side, the noise engineering lapsus os. Let's take a closer look at the mixer first. All the sounds are coming into this mixer, and these rows in the mixer allow me to send the different sounds to the delay and reverb in these two Pico uh, DSP modules. And the middle row sends any sound or mix of sounds to Monsoon, which then turns anything into an evolving pad sound that then goes to the 2HP reverb to make the reverb longer and more dense, and then it, it returns to the mixer. It also has its own pitch regardless of the signal coming into it. It allows me to place it anywhere I want in the frequency spectrum to make it fit in the mix at any time. Now, because of the two reverbs, what I actually send to the module is less important than its pitch. That's why I'm using fader number 4 on Lapsus Oz to control it. In this case, I have it set up in uniporter mode. I like just turning it to the lowest pitch possible because it makes it practically disappear from the mix as it's being filtered internally with Monsoon in pitch shifter mode. You can read more about Monsoon's different modes in a link in the description. To add a bit more movement to the sound, I'm using an LFO coming from Pamela's new workout, which I'll talk about in a future video. That LFO is moving the position parameter in Monsoon, you can see the LED here. The position makes the module react to a different slice of the incoming signal. That way, even though I send it a one bar loop, it will always process that loop differently and play its own loop based on the rate of the LFO, which is set to 8 bars in this case. Okay, that would be all. I'm gonna leave you with a short demo to give you an idea of how everything sounds together. <laughs> 